Hi, my name is Victor Christensen and I'm the director of SecPoint.com. Today I want to show you how to log into a Penetrator appliance and uh, show you the main benefits of the Penetrator appliance. So right here I log in as the user admin and uh, when I log into the Penetrator uh, appliance uh, I come here to the welcome screen and in the welcome screen it will show all the latest audits that I have completed or if I start a new audit, it will show it right here in the welcome screen. So I don't have to click in the menus to find it. And this saves a lot of time. In the right side, we have audit statistics. We can see how many IP addresses are left on the license, how many audits are completed. We can see here system status, the firmware version and the last update. And basically the license uh, works the way if you have a 32 IP address license, then the only limitation is how many concurrent audits you can run. So for example, if you start audits of 30 IP addresses, then you have two left you can do. But when the 30 IP address finish, you can do 30 more. And you're also allowed to change the IP addresses. So the license is very, very flexible, especially for consultants or for uh, when you visit different customers that have different IP addresses. So basically all the menu items here you will see, you can go in and see an individual video how it works and how to set it up. And now I'll just explain briefly how it all works. So the first menu is called audit accounts and in the audit accounts what I can do is I can create a profile and in the profile I can set specific IP addresses to scan. So for example in this case here I have a profile called SecPoint own servers and then I can provide different IP addresses and then when I go to the audit and I want to create a new audit I can simply click on the profile and then it knows all the IP addresses and configuration so that saves a lot of time also when I do uh, 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 when you make audits create audits uh, you can do a standard audit or you can go in and set advanced configuration and some of the the advanced menus uh, that are shown here you can set individual ports for example you, you can say you only want to scan port 80 and then it's not doing a full port scan you can also scan virtual hosts if you have one IP address with multiple domains on it then you can scan them all individually you can also go in and do aggressive auditing and this is for pre-production systems where you can do heavy overflow attacks and denial of service attacks and brute forcing attacks and of course this is only recommended for pre-production systems that are not online yet since the target system may crash. Then there's also the schedule and it's very user friendly. I can go in and set a schedule and then I can click on the audit account for example. And then I can choose how often I want the schedule to run. For example in this case here I can set it to Sunday 2 o'clock in the morning. And then I can set up the schedule and then in sun, during the day or at Sunday night, I will have all the fresh reports. <clears throat> and then there's also the archive. Here I can archive already completed audits. The statistics menu, this is very efficient. It allows you to, do, uh, to, to get the statistics for the IP addresses. So for example, if you've been running audits for three weeks every Sunday at two o'clock in the morning, then in the statistics you can see week from week how many new vulnerabilities are discovered. Or for example if you have an old vulnerability that has not been fixed then you will keep seeing it in the statistics. Then we also have the wireless menu and the wireless auditing this is intended for the portable penetrator only. And with the portable penetrator what you can do is you can scan all Wi-Fi networks open networks, VP encrypted, VPA and VPA2 encrypted networks. And then it will show you, or it will actually do the, the, uh, the attack on the networks and break into them. And then if you have a weak network, it will show you how to secure your network. And again here, to see the videos, how it cracks VP and VPA, please see uh, the videos regarding this. Then we also have a brute forcing, and here you can brute force password files, such as Unix password files and Windows password files. You can also brute force zip files and protocols. <coughs> For example, here in the protocols, you can brute force uh, IMAP, and we can actually see here there are many, many protocols. 
There's IMAP, FTP, POP3, and most protocols. Then we also have the exploits, and in the exploits menu you can launch real exploits. And this is mostly intended for professional penetration testers. And then I will just click on the advanced menu. And in the advanced menu you can set up the time zone, the date and time, so you get exactly your time zone. And if you're in America, you can also change the date format or other countries that use a different style. You can, you can upload your own report logo. So every time you get a PDF report from an audit, it has your own logo. You can go in the system, change the IP address, static IP address or DHCP. You can do a system configuration backup. You can do the update, force database, and firmware update. And then there's the user administration, and here you can create individual users. For example, you can create a user that only has access to scan 10 IP addresses. And then you can give this to your customers, so your customer can log in, but only see his own IP addresses. Then you can also do a factory reset. And then we have something very interesting called a distribution setup. And basically, if you are a customer, or you have a customer, with, for example, uh, 10 branch offices uh, over a country, uh, then they can put 10 appliances, one in each branch office, and then from the headquarter, uh, they can connect to all the branch office uh, penetrate appliances, scan the internal networks, and get all the reporting in the centralized location. And this is very efficient, because the system administrator will know the security level of all their networks and all their IP addresses. So, for more information regarding uh, the Penetrator appliance, you're always welcome to contact us at sales at secpoint.com. And as always, you can visit secpoint.com to get a free vulnerability scan. And thank you for watching this video presentation. Thank you.